I'm Jake Wilson, I'm a sophomore and I have a mass communications major. Hi, Tony. My major is chemistry and I'm a freshman. Um, my name's Audrey Simmons, I'm first year and I'm a biology major. Yeah, I think that oftentimes men are seen more as competitors within their sports. Um, I think that men are praised a lot more for the work that they do in sports. I think oftentimes women, um, especially like successful men, are kind of objectified within their sports. Um, and I think that, uh, I mean, you can see it in a lot of the money, like the Women's World Cup um, is definitely less the men's um, and the women on that team are often paid less than the male soccer players even though um, the women have won much more often. At our school you can see the, the stands are packed for the men's basketball game and pretty much empty for the women's games. I've also noticed on campus like if I say I'm going to the game today it's just kind of assumed that it's the men's game. Um, whenever I say it's the women's game, oh it's the women's game. You know, so definitely a pretty different. I feel like they're both good at what they do. Um, uh, I'm not the type of person to, to single out one different type of score, or one different type, or how it's played. Um, but again, you know, it's not about the binary, it's about the sport, so. Um, I probably view them about the same. I feel like I watch more men's sports on TV just because they're more widely available. Like, I feel like for women's sports, I have to go search or like specifically go to a certain person to hear about like a game or something. Um, well, I was an athlete in high school. Um, I played for the tennis team. So I was very involved in a lot of sports. And I also have a brother who's in sports. So um, we didn't get as many supplies as the other tennis team, the guys tennis team. We didn't get as much support, we didn't get as much time to play, and so that was definitely a very big contrast between the two, um, the women versus the men's teams. And I feel like that's very common in other sports, even though I haven't necessarily seen that like in person. But I saw that for myself in tennis. Yeah, I think that there's been a good social media presence, um, both on UNC Asheville accounts and within my friend group of women that are in sports. However, I think that the university sometimes tries to get little like brownie points almost for, for posting about women in sports and don't often consult the women that are in sports at the school. Um, and I do think that if you look at postings about men's basketball, it's still very different from postings about women in general, women in our own sports. Um, yeah. I feel like it was underrepresented. Um, I honestly wasn't a fan of, of how they handled that situation. Uh, whoever made the social media post, um, I feel like it could have been a lot better. Uh, it was kind of... I don't know. I, I can't speak on the matter because I'm not a part of women's sports, but it's a little bit of a slap in the face. I feel like they could have done a better job. Especially, I mean, you know, they're successful. They're very successful. And the, you know, the women's swim and dive team hasn't lost in two, three seasons, undefeated this season. But, you know, we don't really hear too much about that. And I feel like that's why I feel like they're a little, um, I guess underrepresented. Yeah. yeah, I heard quite mostly through Instagram, people were just posting and stuff, but I liked how the school did showcase all the women's at the basketball game last week. That was cool to see. Yeah. Um, I'm not super involved in the sports here, so I'm not so sure um, I really know, but I feel like in general, there is a very big disparity between it, but um, I don't know if I can give you a direct answer about UNCA because I'm not super involved in the sports here. Um, I think that it's both. I think that um, both 
UNCA and the NCAA benefit from women in sports, you know, um, they benefit from the views that we produce, they benefit from the, the dollars that we bring in to the school. Um, so I think at the end of the day, it's, it's on both the university and on a national level. I 100% think it's in general as a nation. There's definitely the stereotype that they're less fun to watch, I guess. And look, you know, I feel like the nation is doing a better job of shedding light on women's sports. I actually watched Sports Center the other day, and I was surprised by the amount of women's sports that was uh, represented on Sports Center, and I was actually really happy to see that. Now, additionally, I feel like the school as a whole probably needs to do a better job. I bet you if you asked anybody on this quad, hey, did you know the women's swim and dive team was undefeated? They probably would say no. Hey, do you know that the basketball team's doing good this year? They'd probably say yes, because they are really pushing basketball this year. And I'm not, I'm not you know, downsizing basketball. They're having a hell of a season. I respect the hell out of all of them. But, uh, you know, there's some other teams on this campus that I feel like need some more light, need some more representation, need some more, I guess, support. And uh, UNC Asheville's just gotta do a better job at that. I think it's more of a national thing because if, the, if all of society doesn't really showcase it as well, then I feel like the school can't do too much because it doesn't have as big of an outreach as, say, national television or something. Um, I feel like it's both. I feel like it's a combination. I feel like UNCA definitely has a duty to kind of spread awareness, but I feel like just sports fans in general also have a duty to spread awareness. Yeah, um, I've gone to a few of the women's soccer games. I've gone to a swim and dive events. Yes, I actually work for the athletic department, so I'll see a good variety of men's and women's sports. Um, I've seen a couple of the men's basketball games, um, but I haven't been able to make it to any of the women's basketball games, actually. Yeah.